so we will start the discussion in two part first part where we will discuss about yesterday's result yesterday i made some rookie mistake and i had a major loss so coming to first you can see uh, gpp gbp aud i had drawn a triangle here and i said that if it breaks down and if i go to weekly i can see that uh, it's uptrend but when i come to hourly four so in hour one it was a rectangle so anyway i said that if you break down below i will go for short trade okay but what mistake did i do here a uni let me go ahead yeah i had a loss of 16 dollar so what i did like when this again hit at this this bottom i stretched this triangle to this far and i took a buy after this second candle putting a stop loss here and sometime it went for profit for uh, around two to four dollar then it hit my loss meanwhile my original analysis which was this if i am adding this to is taking support here i should have taken the uh sell here and uh, the stop loss would be of 300 pips to yeah approx five six hundred or this bottom so this is the level where should i have taken profit my first support now it is at this support area i don't know if this support area is valid because it is a first one and uh, in weekly now coming to second pair which i had lost is euro and jd in euro and jd as expected let me go to the euro chart and uh, coming to euro and jd as suspected as it broke below i have taken a trade somewhere it's our one chart so i had taken the trade yesterday at this level no sorry it's our chart so yesterday i have taken from yeah this is the year yesterday chart i have taken the sell at this point somewhere here one second let me see Seven six five seven four control there. Seven six five seven four five seven four. Yeah, I've taken the trade at this point. So uh, this after this uh, evening start, I taken the trade here and mark my stop loss at this level and my take profit at around uh, uh, one seven five six one zero five six for at this support area so initially it shows like this hammer candle formed and it was like okay i'm going to have a loss the loss was around 31 dollar in pips if i say the pips was around 400 420 480 pips 500 pips approx so it was like okay i will lose at approx 30 dollar 30 33 dollar and I was okay to accept it. Then it went up there, but the market again took this engulfing and it hit my target. Euro CAD talking about Euro CAD was the same. We saw this market, this uh, big uh, in bullish engulfing, then market went up again, but again the seller power here was very great. Then after the market started off at this level. And we saw that this was a major support area yesterday, which we talked about in the time frame it more visible. Okay, not visible in hour four, I think. So you want it was a support area. So when it formed this engulfing, I entered here, and the target was approximately one four three six two one, one four three six two one. Six to one, this support here. This is a major support here. You can see here. But what happened that uh, 
the market was going down good i moved my stop loss at somewhere this point i went to 15 minutes and i saw that market is taking the some uh, resistance so i moved my stop loss here and this candle marked my stop loss 14 143904 143904 something here and uh, then again market moved in the same direction so this was a rookie mistake i would say then euro usd euro usd was like uh, i did a sell and the target was this level and it hit the profit euro AUD. you can see i booked, took euro AUD two times this is the biggest rookie mistake i took it around noon and you might not have my recording of taking this euro AUD. yeah coming to euro AUD. So Euro, I took buy signal. So uh, if I go to weekly, it's bullish engulfing it's here. So it may go up, I have pretended, and it was on the trend line of business, you can see that. So I was expecting the buy trade, but that's, analysis was good. That's not a rookie mistake. So what rookie mistake did I do? The rookie mistake which I did was, I, you can see, let me see the price up 166, 240, 160, 259. 166, 250. You can see here. So I don't know why I did buy at this position, at this candle, no, at this candle somewhere. This was running a bullish and I bought here. It was in this zone. I should have not bought this at this point. But I did buy it. And it hit hit hard. I lost approx forty dollar. So basically, my major profit was downsized by this one. So first rookie mistake was to move the stop loss of Eurocat, depending on fifteen minute time frame. That was a bad decision. Second, Euros AUD, very bad trade. Euros CHF talking about you it. I took this in last video only and use it to buy signal. Buy signal meaning it was like it you can see here. I can see double bottom in weekly time frame. Yeah. And in day time frame, I thought this is a triple horse. Three horses said it is like three horses. But it's not a three horses. I think I misinterpreted three horses. So, so I'm not going to trade any three horses. For time being, it is in the range you can see here, and the uh, market started from bottom, and so it hit my stop loss at ten dollar. Coming to Euro CAD, let's see what happened to Euro CAD. Euro CAD, I did sell, and market went sell, but there is some mistake what I did. Um, I need to figure it out before and dig to a new trade. This is 439. 36, yeah, it's market started here. So the 36, 439, I took this sale. 36, 439, somewhere here. After this morning, uh, evening star, second candle was confirmed. 36, 439, I took started somewhere here. And I placed list loss at 36,572. 36,572. One second. 36,439. Okay, I took the trade at after this second candle. I took the trade at this level. Although in this was good, I do trade this level. But I didn't mark the stop loss proper. I mark the stop loss at this level. My stop loss should have been at this level. If it had been at this level, I would have booked the profit. So I hit the loss when it came here. Again, I would have taken the trade again when I've seen again the evening star here at the same support level. But I didn't enter. So this was all the downfall of yesterday. 
now we will do for today's analysis oh, okay still going on for today and one more thing i did take euro gbp yesterday i just exited out right now uh before starting in this video why did i exit so in euro gbp i took this sell trade euro gbp yeah so uh, what happened like i pretend that if it leave if this break this uh, range this area this triangle formation i will take a sell entry so yesterday when this black candle you can see this big black candle let me so at this level i took this sell it has not yet broken the pattern but again rookie mistake i took this sell here but i marked my stop loss at this level at this one yeah yeah so i was saved all day i it was a loss of around 30 dollar uh, 30 dollar plus here yeah. so it moved up till this level but again it came down so i had it was running profit of only three to four dollar so it was so i exited it so that i will interface with a fresh signal So it was for yesterday. Now let's see for today's trade. So anyway, this is a demo trading account mine, and I am have fund to interview uh, real currency. But I think I am being pre taking precautions to do that. Okay. So today, uh, my goal is to. Uh, note down my trade before entering the trade yep i will note down then i will come back and verify second opinion by myself if it is good to enter or not since i don't have any mentor right now i searched my for my mentor i took some classes of indian stock uh, nifty option trading it was a fail then i before that i took for uh, uh forex some channels i joined some channel for some tips not the tips just for learning purpose like how he take the trade i have taken the trade in the same way understanding but mm -hmm. but it was also a failure and i lost i think approx 60 70 k in all those we can try so currently i don't know how to so now i am reading one book and i'm also updating the audiobook for the same so hopefully you can see that yeah you can't see my notepad which we're writing because the recording is for only this this area okay now coming to uh, part two so currently Tokyo session has started you can see I have some settings in my uh, Okta account or MT4 account if you want this all settings I can share it with you I did a lot of trials okay so in weekly trades again it is the second week the first week last week was bullish engulfing it's a morning star good morning star it the uh bullish candle closed above 50 percent of the black candle so yesterday it moved down but today i'm again expecting it to move up and it is in the big very good support area it's a very good support area let me extend the support area but i have not found any entry right now let me be very clear so this is the so you can see this was this would my entry so here it is bull salami but again the second candle became the black so which is indecision then again so today market has opened and it's bullish so i will look for downtrend uptrend sorry so it depends if it's break the zone 
if it breaks the zone below then i will look into it coming to gbp cad again seeing the weekly time frame yeah bullish engulfing is in a bullish engulfing at the same time in the at a very major support area and but yesterday it shows the evening start so here is a doji candle indecision candle and then evening star so uh bullish candle now looking at today's chart our fourth chart it is not making any sense yesterday the market was okay this was a good moment but this area has been uh, i will be a trade uh, look it is a no trade zone right now so i will increase my this uh, this range to at least this level and let me see in back side how it happened see up yeah, in back side also this was a very big uh, uh what is a choppy market you can say that so it has been dug 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 so it was coming down from here it went up then came down choppy market then it came down so here it is going up it's choppy market so i don't know i need a proper signal proper very good proper signal to enter nothing here right now okay gp jpy let's see weekly Oof, last was a this hammers signal shows that buyer was still in the control yeah there's some news about the word i know that they must that must affect the market but we being a trader being a analytical trader not the fundamental trader the news should not affect our trading strategy so if i see in the area our one is this is not it is in uh in day trade in day trade yesterday it made a doji candle it was bullish engulfing on friday yesterday was a doji candle let me yeah yesterday was indecision the market couldn't go up or down so it's better to watch today again in this pair nothing much to see here hourly for no so when the pattern will not form i will be trading on the basis of moving average and candlestick pattern okay coming to gp and jp <sighs> now here you can see this hanging man on last week so this hanging man indicates that the market will still go down so in day yesterday day was all down today market started and from this engulfing this is day okay yesterday was a big engulfing candle this and if i come to our one let's see our four yep yep so our one this is in a zone so this is a weekly zone which is important then after this is a day zone for day zone i will draw one more box yeah it may look a little choppy for you but it's important to draw the zone so that we don't miss anything okay let me color code a separate separate color okay blue is good so blue with pink it became green so after the market is started and it's going a uh, bullish candle okay and uh, 
in our four if we see that it can be a double uh, at our four it is forming a double bottom the market went down it came up so it is like a it was like a uh, downtrend lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low then it break higher high higher low higher high then it came down so i'm expecting that it will form uh, and you can see here diversion this is a diversion again full diversion and this was below 17 it is coming up so i am expecting that if not right now around after one hour two hours it will form a candle bullish engulfing uh sorry bullish candle let me write it now so i will write it down okay write me down here on the text okay okay gbp uh double bottom double bottom at the rate for four hour need good okay yeah so it is here let me put it somewhere here if I come to off, it will see here. Okay. So, I'm seeing something happen right here. GBP and so now coming to GBP USD. Yep, yep, yep. Very, very good signal in weekly hammer after bullish rejection. There's a hammer in daily. It was a good, good, very good hour four. Nice hour one. So it showed a good progress yesterday. So, but uh, it's outside the trade uh, range actually. I can see it is outside the range. So, how many pips are we seeing here? It's 500 pips GBP USD. And how many? Okay. In weekly chart, what can I see? Weekly is a very dangerous right now. Yeah, actually, it is again it's a very support range, high range of last week. So I don't want to take a trade right now. Actually, okay, let's wait and watch. Let me. manage this hourly range and this day range is very big here this level okay i'm using this day range and this one it is more likely this right now okay now i can see from here, the market went down yesterday. Now market has recovered all, all of it. Yesterday I didn't take, yesterday I didn't took any trade in GP. Weekly is consolidating right now. This is choppy, 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 choppy. It's all choppy. This candle. This one makes any sense right now. I am doing this one. 
this also these are all choppy market right now basically basically i can say that it was more of a ranging market or correction i can say okay now if i come to our one so it has went up and it has shown the okay evening star no no doesn't make sense the market open low the market open low yeah market open low and went up okay it is taking support it is actually at a outside my range it is taking a support here this indecision the market went low then again the bullish it is bottom tweezer is it worth taking a risk the question is this is it worth taking risk see the market open started at this level and from this level only that indecision came okay good for today market then it make up sloppy and this is a range breakout as somehow if i open to four hours or one day <coughs> in one day it's uh, also in this season i want to take the, this risk because it is breaking out of my trading zone so how much loss will i cover I'll take a loss of 80. Okay, 90 pips. Let's make it a little more. 97 approx 90 pips. Okay. So what is the ATR here? The ATR right now is 1 month 6. Okay and my tp will be so here uh, in our four in our four i can't say anything so let's take one to two nine ten so uh my profit will be this how far is it 58 something like this uh, 24 10 20 this is 24 this level but my next support level is how much my support next support level is this one only but in the time frame it has broken the range so in decision making I will take this one and after some time I will decide if I will stay or leave okay so GP is done my only note is like GP and JD I will take a buy trade if this a very good signal if it's a top tweezer I will I can go for long now coming to next euro it's so tiring oh my god so it has broke the zone okay let's have euro aud yep i missed this one yesterday big big mistake now okay going to weekly now it is in police engulfing but nothing to see it week week it is making higher high at day trade it was a bullish um, uh, daily scandal in our one i can see that i can see what i can see let me extend this zone here this is the support yep support is from here here and here so i will not interact unless it is inside this box or if it's come here and go up 
enable take trade i'm not take trade here secondly if it breaks this level again this this high level then again i can take the trade even if it will come in this level let me delete this candle i don't need this candle anymore one second control z so i keep it no no euro aud so i will compare euro aud with gb aud it's a time consuming process but it's worth it okay gb aud is also in this range only okay Euro CAD. What am I seeing here? On a weekly time frame, it's a big hammer, and then a uh, bullish engulfing. It's a natural uptrend, but the market opened low yesterday after big, big movement, and in day it's in a bearish candle. It's in a range it's not a proper it's a downtrend and it's so choppy here maybe if it opens up come up here and give a proper good signal at this level or at this level then i will think for sale but i'm not entering right now this one again this was a, this is a candle if it take a support resistance here and force then I'm, i will take a trade it is a downtrend. Nothing to see here. Good, good. Now coming to this week. It is saying that market will go down. So I'm deleting this one. I'm finding another good uh, signal uh, trade line here. Shape rectangle. It will be like this one. Going long and long and long. Yeah. So my entry point will be with the engulfing. If I see engulfing good candle, it can be double top actually. Because here I can see it's below 30. This is also going below 30, but this bullish candle can make all the changes we needed. It is Euro and JD. Just like GP and JD, Euro and JD has the same feature. So it's also DVF for our time frame. So Euro and JT, GB and JT. Yep, because you can see here at hour one, at hour four, same thing. Hour four it is below, hour one is also downtrend. Same. So, We need a proper entry signal to enter trade, or else we are not entering at all. Euro USD, okay. Uh, let's see how it is going. Okay, it was a rejection, then it formed a hammer, hammer last week. Under time frame, it took uh, it went open low. It opened low, but it covered up covered up all its area, and it is going up so my point is should i take the trade here even though it is at the uh, yesterday's top it has not broke yesterday top so okay let me see the trade it has shown the up 
hourly four in hour four okay i'll wait for a little i will wait for it to break this area the straight tops it should break the straight tops then we'll see if we have to take it's optional it's not mandatory Yes, so the promising, yeah, so it's so promising in theory. Okay, but what is candlestick forming here? Uh, it can be called morning star. Morning star represents that market will go in the same direction, and this another hourly candle is forming. Okay, I'm taking so here. So the last candle was this in this. Then after the it is a pips of one forty five fourteen dollar approx. Okay, big is take at risk. Okay, and what will be my profit? So it's one forty five. It will be fourteen fifteen thirty pips. It will be around here thirty pips, right? Yeah, approx. This will be thirty pips, mind yeah. Yeah, this is my 30 pips. The highest, the last resistance level. Okay, I'm taking, I'm taking two trade, and I am not planning to take more than three to four trade. Okay, I'm not taking this trade. Euro JPY, Euro CHF weekly down, down, down. There is nothing here to take trade about. Going to next profile, UST. UST CHF weekly downtrend. Very good. It's a bullish engulfing last week. This week also is falling downtrend. The trade market has gone down today. Market is open and taken this uh, engulf. This is the evening star. I'm taking this evening star. I'm taking this evening star. I'm taking this evening star. Yep. So it's one one pips approx. And my next profit will be next resistance level. Approx this one. Yep, weekly down is daily down. Uh, hourly four is also down. So, okay. I have taken third trade US, US CCD cap weekly. It's in a zone. It's in a zone. So, buyers are breaking down. Okay. Yesterday, I would have taken this trade and it would have gone down to this level, but I didn't took that trade, so nothing to worry. And for that trade, I would have taken, would have taken this one, this double top. No, once again. Okay, so three days ago, my mistake, three days ago, if I have taken, then it would have been gone good from here. Then again, this will be my, this will be my straight trade, which I have not taken. Today, no. Let's leave it like that for a time being. JPY again weekly. It's a double bottom, double top. Okay, double top in decision engulfing day, hour, hour four, day. Oh my god, hour four. 
this was based upon studies. Yesterday, I should have taken this one sort. I should have taken this sort yesterday. Now, what is decision right now? Where is the market open control? The market open here is bullish engulfing, but it's far from 50 moving average. It's also in a zone. Okay, I will wait for this zone to break. Once it breaks, then I will enter. Not a hard fast deal. Okay, going to next pair. NJD. Weekly. It's an uptrend. Mm -hmm. Hourly, I can't see anything. NJD CHF. It is weekly okay it should have gone down actually in daily it is showing that market is in within a range so i mean our one chart and i can see this was it double yesterday's high with the double to the top region okay and it definitely shows that uh, market has gone down now it has come to same level and uh, a promising downtrend is being shown here uh, i'll wait for one more candle and get the chf 